Chantel here, Crafty Designs by Lee. I wanted to show you quickly before I um, recovered the box. These boxes, um, they're by this company called Leah Sophia. It's a jewelry company. And I've hosted a party and attended a couple parties. And so I have a lot of these boxes. And... I didn't want to throw them away. I've gotten into this thing where I keep almost everything because I've what things that I feel like I can, you know, like recover with paper or make into something different. So I wanted to uh, keep these and do something with them. And my idea is uh, for my Valentine treats for my my family, my children, and my husband. I'm going to cover these with some pretty paper. I have some in various sizes. Here's just two of the sizes that I have here. And, you know, I have, like, chocolate treats and things like that that I want to give to them. And so I'm going to cover these up with some pretty papers and ribbon and things like that. And then I'm going to come back and show you um, the finished video. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Hey, crafty friends. Chantel here. Crafty Designs by Lee. Just wanted to come back really quickly and show you... Um, what I did with the, the box, um, it started out like this, but in the larger size, this size here. I'm going to attach that part of the video um, here at the beginning so you'll see that. And I think it came out so pretty. I am very happy with it. Lots of um, glue, the uh, glue gun, <laughs> but I like it. I like the way it turned out. Um, here's some pattern paper that I picked up um, at Target. You know, they have like the dollar bin <clears throat> when you first walk into the store. And they had some Valentine's paper, Valentine's stack that I picked up. It has all these pretty colors in it. So um, I used some of those. I used a striped piece and purposely made it so that the stripes would go um, in this direction. I guess vertically because that would be horizontal. Yeah. So vertically on the package here, I used some lace that I bought from Joann's and some bead trim. I also picked that up at Joann's. Uh, this ribbon here, um, I don't know if I got this from Joann's or from Michael's, but I bought it last year. And as you can see, I haven't really used it. So I pulled that out to use some of that. I have some flowers here, some glitter flowers. Um, I picked those up at Hobby Lobby uh, when I was uh, in Charlotte because I don't have a Hobby Lobby near me and I was in Charlotte with my in-laws over the holidays and there's a Hobby Lobby near them. So I went to Hobby Lobby and picked those up. They're called um, Color Me Crazy. So you can paint them, chalk them, stick them, ink them. Or you could use them plain. And I just use them plain. I was in Joann's today because I went to Joann's to find the um, the right stick pins I needed to make stick pins. If you watched my earlier video today, I had bought some stick pins, but they were jewelry uh, pins. So it wasn't really the right thing. And I, I had a feeling it wasn't because they weren't, they weren't sharp like on the end. They didn't have like the point to them. So I went back earlier today. And I, yay, found the pins I needed. So that was exciting. And um, so uh, while I was in the store, of course, you know, I had to walk around and see what else might have been on sale or on clearance. And in the uh, Valentine's section, they had this pack of feathers that you can shape in different directions. And they have different sizes and things. So I picked up that. And I added a little bit of the feather to the top of the, the package here. And these flowers here are from Recollections, and I just adhere those uh, onto the tops of the Color Me Crazy flowers. And this flower here, I'm not sure where it came from, but you know how you get, like, uh, flowers on the vines, like, on the string, and they have, like, the little piece that you can stick them in there? Hopefully I'm explaining that right, but that's what was on the back of it. So I'm thinking I may have... Um, like a door decoration, a door wreath or something 
from my house and it may have fallen off of the wreath and I just picked it up and bought it in my craft room because I didn't want to throw it away. So I think that's where this flower right here came from, but I'm just not sure. Um, so I'll use that. And here is one of the stick pins, the smallest stick pins that I made a video of earlier today. I stuck one of those in there. And then the, the stick pins with the hearts on the top of them that I had showed in an earlier video, those pins there. I used one of those as well and stuck that right up in the top. Uh, I have some foam hearts on the back here and I just layered them. They have adhesive on the back of them. So I just layered them and they're actually only layered on the ribbon because this piece slides out. But I wanted it to look complete all the way around to the back. So I just lay them onto the ribbon part here. And I, I also layered a couple of hearts in the front in a die, you know, like side by side. And then I have like just a tie closure. And so if I open it up, I'll show you the inside because I also put paper on the inside as well. Let me show you how it opens. So the ribbon, you open the ribbon up like that. And this slides out. I put a different piece of pattern paper on the little tab flip open right here on both ends of that and I'm going to do it this way because I already put in it what I want it to give to the person but if they're watching this video I don't want them to see what is in it so let me take that out here's some tissue paper I just stuck some tissue paper in there to line to um you know line it here you can see I put some ribbon on the two ends so that when you know it's inside the the package it just looks complete all the way around. I lined the inside of the box with some of that same paper um, that I showed you from Target. The outside paper has uh, hearts on it. And then I just took that all the way over into the inside of the box. And then I layered that with the same stripe that's on the top. But this, th this time I've made it go horizontally inside of the box there. So then, you know, the item just goes inside of there, and then this slides back inside there. Close it up, tie the ribbon, and it's ready to go. I will make a tag, which I didn't want to put on here now, um, but I'm going to make a tag. I have like some uh, tag stamps. So I'm going to take the tag and um, probably layer it like with white on top and then a, a pink uh, underneath it and stick it like right in here with the person's name on it who I'm going to give this to. So yeah, that's my pretty little box. I'm kind of happy about it. It's, it's really pretty. I like it. And I'm also going to do this one too in different color papers because uh, I have a, another Valentine's that I want to put into this box here. So... There it is. I hope you like it. Leave me some comment, love. Thanks. Have a good one.